I will uh, talk uh, today about uh, the sacred uh, sexuality and Tantra as a, the strongest and most efficient uh, spirit spirituality in my life. So, besides of that, that uh, I was a Christian for many years, uh, that's how I grew up. Uh, uh, at some point also I was in believing in God in my own way. Besides of that, I tried many different spiritual things like yoga, meditations, different meditations, vipassana, qigong, all other stuff. And from all of this, um, I felt, I feel that the Tantra, sacred sexuality, it's the most powerful, most efficient in my life. So, why? First of all, experience of uh, having cosmic uh, orgasm, uh, universal orgasm, feeling that we are all one, made me experience Experiencing this made me realize that, yes, we are all one. Believe what many religions, many teachings are sharing, become my own experience. Through Tantra, through lovemaking, you can experience not only that you are one with uh, your partner, you may experience that you are one with all universe. This beautiful state, what uh, in some teachings is called Samadhi, Nirvana, that there is no separation, suddenly becomes your experience, your own experience. And even if you turn to your ones, you already know that this is true, because you experience it, yes? So, when you know something, when you experience something, it's not longer belief. You know it for sure. There is no doubt in it. So, it's much more powerful than belief if you know something, if you experience something. So, um, when you feel, uh, when you experience something that we are all one, when you know that we are all one, you don't want to hurt someone. Because you know that you're hurting yourself. You want to make someone happy. And as far as you grow in Tantra, even without experiencing uh, the cosmic universal orgasm, you are becoming more and more empathic. You feel the other people. For example, it's very beautiful feeling um, to experience almost on every workshop, especially at this introductionary workshop where people are coming new to Tantra to figure out what it is. Uh, yes, uh, very often I feel them that they are a bit nervous. What is Tantra? Oh, would I have to get naked? Oh, uh, would someone touch me? and uh, I would not like it, they are a bit nervous, you know, what happened, uh, like uh, at the beginning, but after, when they exercise feelings and so, after uh, the workshop, I always do the sharing circle, and when they share their experiences, they're not, not only their words are uh, some gratitude and uh, happiness, but also, I see on their eyes, on their eyes, liberation, uh, happiness, uh, relaxation. And um, when I feel this, I feel their happiness is my happiness. In the same, in the same way, if I would hurt someone, I would feel his or her pain. So I don't want to hurt someone. I don't want to uh, feel that uh, I cause the pain to someone. So 
I would rather to make good choices for the others because they are good choices for me. Yes? So, also, yes, uh, I, uh, you know, like one of the m most happiness in my life is to see the happiness in my lovers eyes and knowing that I influenced that happiness so yes in one hand we creating the heaven or hell in our life here and now so that's the that's um, yes uh, that's uh, one way of uh, why is it so strong but if you add to this that in Tantra you use the energy and not lose the energy, but you create a lot of energy through lovemaking, you have a lot of energy to do things. And what you do with that energy? If you know that we are all one and their happiness is my happiness, you make people happy. You like to make people happy. Yes? Because if they are happy, I am happy. That's why. I choose to share Tantra, to share love, to share that wisdom. Because when I make other people happy, I'm more happy. Yes, we are all one. So that's why it makes it even more powerful, this experience of we are all one. And the other uh, thing why Tantra makes me so spiritual is that I like to have love making on very high quality. And when I do good things, when I feel good about myself, when I'm on the pure and as more pure energy, then I'm also have good quality love making. So that's when I'm having more power, yes? If I feel, if I take care for myself, good, you know? If I do good sleep, yes, uh, it's, I have a higher quality of lovemaking. In the same way, the emotions are affecting our life even more than anything else. So that's why, you know, like uh, when we are on good emotions, Yes, we have good, uh, high quality of love making, and I, 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 I love to have good quality of love making. Yes, that's what tantra it guides us. Yes, and this good quality of love making also make me feeling good. And when I feel good, I do good things. You know, because that's how the energy of love circulate. So yes, use it, don't lose it again so yes um, yeah when uh, we did something wrong what uh, doesn't feel good we are bothered during love making it's uh, make our quality of love making a bit shallow so that's why when you live in a good way, you have better love making quality. Yes, so that's um, another thing. And um, another thing, Tantra, it's a healing. It's a healing of your emotions and uh, healing of uh, your uh, personality. Um, it's a um, spiritual growth. So when you heal, when you are spiritually grow, your consciousness also grow. People become vegan when they are more connected uh, with themselves, with uh, love energy. People want to do good things and so. And when you heal yourself, you are not affected by some emotions what the things happen. Your capacity of love expands so that's why again 
Tantra as a one of the very efficient way of healing yourself, of liberating yourself, is the, one of the strongest spirituality for me. So yes, probably there are many aspects. Yes, you can have a look at our website, but I feel that's um, for that moment I share enough. So use it, don't lose it, share love, stay connected. Thank you for your attention. Michał Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement School. Namaste.